Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, City of Brandon COVID-19 community update. Uh, today is Monday, August the 10th is when we are uh, uh, recording this. And once again, you have myself and our emergency uh, manager, Mr. Brian Kays, who you're going to hear from uh, shortly. So unfortunately, we do find ourselves in a, in a need to reach back out to our community with another of these COVID-19 community updates. Happily, we did have a fairly long hiatus for many weeks. Prairie Mountain Health region and the city of Brandon had done quite uh, well and we ended up with uh, no new cases for about 70 days straight. However, as uh, most of you are now aware, we have had a, a cluster of cases in our region and more specifically in the city of Brandon and we believe our citizens uh, need to refocus their attentions once again on COVID-19. As we have from the very beginning, the city of Brandon has carefully and deliberately followed the guidelines and directives of Manitoba Chief Public Health Officer Dr. Brent Rusin. Uh, health emergencies follow, fall under the authority of Manitoba Public Health and Dr. Rusin and his team have the expertise, the training and the experience to lead our response. It is ever more critical right now here in Brandon that we all follow his direction. We at the city and myself and city council take this situation very seriously. Our emergency operations center continued to be activated and we met as a team just today and will continue to do so uh, daily until uh, we believe the uh, threat has uh, subsided. We are concerned and we know that many people in our, concern are, in our community are concerned and fearful about the uptake in cases over the past week or so. About 98 new cases in our region since that gap, approximately 64 in what is called the Brandon Cluster. This shows how easily one or two cases can manifest when fundamental practices are not employed. But to emphasize the message of Dr. Rusin, we are not helpless against this virus and we have never been helpless. The fundamental practices that have been drummed into all of us these past number of months are the key to battling back against it and to once again tapping it back down in our community. Brian will uh, remind us all of these fundamentals in just a moment. The other reassuring factor is that we are in a much better position to fight the virus today than when we were five months ago when it first began. Much more is known about the uh, COVID-19 virus and there is much more infrastructure in place and good practices established. Just remember that almost every business and workplace has hand sanitizing stations at the doors, markings on the floor to help with physical distancing, plexiglass barriers between the public and frontline workers, limitations on how many are in the building at a time, and numerous other mitigation factors are currently in place. We are all accustomed to uh, these procedures, and although they might be an inconvenience, in the scheme of things, they are relatively minor adjustments that we can make to combat the virus. So just think that through. All of that infrastructure, all of those procedures that are out there in our community right now and have never uh, been set aside, it really comes to bear right now when we need it. The time is right now for every one of us to refocus on these fundamentals, to get this uptick stopped in its tracks. I'll turn it over now to Brian for a reminder of these fundamentals and for other updates from Brian Case. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, it's been a few weeks since we've had to put one of these COVID-19 infomercials together. As a reminder to everyone, in Brandon, we continue to follow Shared Health's recommended guidelines. So we are not inventing anything ourselves. We found the first case of COVID-19 in Manitoba approximately 150 days ago. Case numbers went up to 325 by the end of June, and then, to everyone's self-satisfaction, we had no cases in Manitoba for almost two weeks. But, guess what? The virus never left the country, never left the province, or the city, or your neighborhood. 
By the end of July, we were having a few cases, the odd cluster, and then the shoe dropped. So that by today, we have at least 558 cases in Manitoba, and of these, 124 are in the Prairie Mountain Health Region. It's time to start washing your hands again. The virus is still here. I've heard some people say, I'm done with COVID. Well, COVID-19 is not done with you. COVID-19 is like the brother-in-law that you owe money to. He's not going anywhere if he thinks there's a chance he might get paid. COVID-19 is a patient thing. It will wait you out. It will be here ready for that time when you let your guard down. The key to this COVID thing is to be consistent and unrelenting in how you protect yourself and your family. Everyone in the community has to do their part. If we all work together, we can once again live what many of us think of as a normal life. It may be a new normal, but if we work together, it can be a lot less restrictive than the first few months of this pandemic. But make no mistake, this is a nasty virus. The city's programs continue to function and provide their services in a safe manner. You'll find at our buildings that people are directed to wash their hands. You'll conduct meetings at a two meter distance in rooms that seem far too large for the number of people in attendance. You'll find that some of our buildings like the water treatment facility have no access for the public. Others like the sportsplex have restricted access and limits on the number of people allowed into the building. At City Hall, we monitor access and have people wash their hands before attending to their business. Some personnel are met by appointment only. At other services, we are taking measures to break them into cohorts or smaller groups of workers who have little or no interaction outside of their cohort group. All of these measures are designed to limit the possibility of transmitting COVID between the city personnel and the public and from the public to the city personnel, while at the all, all the time maintaining a reasonable level of service. If we fumble and dither and stumble along the way or show a bit of arrogance, the virus will take advantage of us and rebound. So we need to continue to embrace the prevention measures we have in place. Stay safe, be kind. It only takes a simple frame of mind. Please stay safe. So frequently wash and dry your hands. And this means over and over. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch things. Don't touch your face. Everyone knows where their face is. Keep your hands off of it. Cover your cough or sneeze. Be kind and watch out for others. And if you're even mildly ill, stay indoors and keep to yourself. If you meet people, do it out of doors and stay out of doors. You are allowed groups of up to 250 people if they can maintain a distance of two meters separation from one another. If you meet people indoors, meet in groups of 75 or less, as long as they can maintain that two meters of separation. Use physical distancing. This always means stay two meters apart. Continue to disinfect everything you touch and do not share things that you touch. If you're returning from travel outside of Canada, you must quarantine for 14 days. This is a requirement of the federal government. If you're coming to Manitoba from points in Canada east of Terrace Bay, Ontario, use the provincial self-isolation guidelines, which will also require 14 days of isolation. Protect your community by using reliable sources of information, such as um, www.manitoba.ca backslash COVID-19. Finally, remember, do not call 911 unless it is an emergency. So please, work with us, do your part, 
and we will do ours. Thank you, Your Worship. Thank you very much, uh, Brian. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the solution is in our hands once again, each and every one of us. We are not helpless against this virus. Employing these fundamentals is what can keep yourself and your family safe. Just this modicum of personal responsibility is the key. Make no mistake, in spite of this uptick in cases in our community, I'm still very proud of our community. Everyone has continued to step up and take this seriously. Every citizen, and especially every business, has done an outstanding job to keep us all safe, many going above and beyond. And while many of the recent cases have affected employees of Maple Leaf Foods, Maple Leaf itself has gone above and beyond to keep that plant and their employees safe. There has been no evidence of transmission within that plant and it has been carefully been inspected by a trio of regulatory agencies, including Manitoba Health, Manitoba uh, Workplace Safety and Health, and the Federal Canadian Food Inspection Agency. As a city and as your mayor, we will continue to have our actions and procedures governed by the health experts and directed by science. This is time for all of us to dig in, and follow the sound practices outlined by Dr. Rusin. The solution is in our hands once again. We've been here before, we know what to do. Folks, we will be back once again on Thursday at 4 p.m. to update our community once again. I thank each and every one of you and each business and workplace for pitching in to battle back against this virus. I'm very confident we will turn this around and keep our community safe. Be kind to one another and be safe, and I thank you very much.